Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Jay Burness, and this is our right semicircular canal stimulations with VOR cancellation video. So before we get started, uh, what is the VOR? That's a question we need to answer first. So the VOR stands for vestibular ocular reflex. And basically what that means is that for every movement of our head, there's usually an equal and opposite movement of the eye. So say for example, you turn your head to the left, the eyes naturally go to the right. And if you turn your head to the right, the eyes go to the left. You turn your head forward, the eyes go up. Turn your head backward, the eyes tend to go down. And this is, a, as the name implies, vestibularly driven reflex, meaning when you stimulate the vestibular system of the inner ear, it drives the eyes to move in, a, in the opposite direction. And we have this reflex in place, uh, basically it allows us to keep our eyes fixed on a target while we're moving. So it's a very primitive reflex. In these uh, canal stimulations that I'm going to show you, we're actually going to stop this reflex from happening. And when you stop the reflex from happening, what has to happen is your frontal lobes of the brain here are going to work a little bit harder to stop that reflex from happening. So it's a conscious effort to stop that reflex from happening. And by doing so, uh, we're giving the brain a little bit more exercise, driving a little bit more plasticity. So it's just a little extra oomph involved with the canal stimulation to make your brain work a little bit harder. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with the right horizontal canal. So, um, and this is with VOR cancellation, of course. So the uh, thumb goes out in front just like it did before. And as I said in the past, when we want to stimulate the right horizontal canal, basically we have to turn the head to the right. And we're keeping our eyes fixed on the thumb, and that's the VOR in action. You can see when my head went to the right, my eyes went to the left as they were following the thumb. So now if we're going to put VOR cancellation in there, we need to move ourselves to the right, basically turning our head to the right, while our eyes stay fixed on the thumb, but we don't want our eyes to move, so the thumb has to go with the head. So I'm sitting in a rotating chair right now, and you can do it that way just by rotating the chair. As you can see, relatively, my head went to the right, but my eyes stayed on the thumb, and the thumb went with me, so my eyes haven't moved. So I've essentially cancelled the VOR. So that's a VOR cancellation. You can also do it, if you don't have a rotating chair, you just put the thumb up again and twist at the waist. Eyes fixed on the thumb and slow return. So again, all these movements we want to go quickly with the stimulation and then slow, slow, slow return. So that's the horizontal canal. So now we'll do the right anterior canal. So again, remember that the right anterior canal runs in this direction, just like we had a horn on the front aspect of the right side of your forehead. That's the direction of the canal. So we want to be able to point that horn towards the thumb when we're doing this motion. So what we're going to do is you're going to start with the thumb up again, and we're going to turn the head just a little bit to the left there so that the, the horn, if it was there, would be pointing in the general direction of the thumb. And then, now we want to stimulate the canal without changing the relationship between the head, my eyes, and the thumb. So what we're going to do is we're going to lean forward like this. Again. So that's one stimulation and again slow return to normal. Again, forward to the right. Eyes are staying locked on the thumb. Eyes don't move and slow back to normal. And that's the right anterior canal. Okay, so now we'll show you the right posterior canal, and you remember the right posterior canal runs back in this direction, off backward and to the right. So when we're stimulating that canal, again, we need to go back and to the right to stimulate that canal. And because we're doing VOR cancellation, we want the thumb and the eyes on the thumb to not change relative to each other. So we start off with the thumb up the front like this, looking at the thumb, eyes fixed on the nail, and then tip back. 
and the thumb goes with the head so that the eyes don't move at all. Now you've stimulated the posterior canal without allowing the eyes to move. That's VOR cancellation. Okay, so there you have it. Those are our right-sided canal stimulations with VOR cancellation.